This tutorial will teach you how to make the patterns of the drawers and shells, and as well how to put the hardware inside of this assembly. First of all, let's change the view to make our work more convenient. Let's go to the assembly, and we need to define the center axis. So we are using the work planes to define the center axis for our hardware set. It would be like the center axis from the front and center axis from the back. So we defined the position, now we can isolate the facade because we need to have a center point for the handle. We can grab the center point and the axis to make our work plane. Use undo isolate to go back to 3D and we can repeat those sa the same steps for another door. Again, we are making a work planes which would be a center planes for our hardware set. Okay, undo isolate and go back to the home view. Just to make our work more convenient, we can hide the components that is not necessary right now to lift only the body. We are going to the place, a logic component, and we are going to the miter joint. So miter joints is placed on the assembly. We need to make it adaptive. Right click on the component and choose adaptive. Now when this component is adaptive, we can go to the attach, choose it, and we are in a single insertion mode. So we are choosing the planes and the work axis. As you can see, now it's on the position. So we can use the same component again, but in this case we are switching to the multiple mode. And we are choosing the work planes to position this miter joint. So again, axis planes, attach, and now we have all eight items in the corners. Now we need to check if they are in the right position. The first one should be deleted because otherwise we will get two items on the same position. Okay, that's fine. So let's use attach again and we are going to the place command, to the library, minifix, D15. Okay, and again we need to select the reference geometry according to the component. So first we need to select the nested board, should be the top surface of the bottom panel and the bottom surface of the top panel, then the pillar board size, and finally an axis. Now we can close this window and we need to place one more instance of the same minifix. Okay. Now we are choosing the pillar board, the back plate, and we are choosing the center axis of the facades to be an axis plane. Okay, now let's use the same component again. In this case, we will place the uh, minifix without a double in the middle. So we are choosing the nested board, the pillar board, should be the back plate, and an axis, which is the origin of plane. Okay? So once the hardware set is adjusted, it's placed, we can go to the other item, which would be the colors for a shelf. Okay, ID is actually the same, we are choosing the side, the bottom of the shelf and the work axis. And as you can see, we have a supports. Now we can unhide the visibility of the doors. And as well as the other components. And we can attach the handles because we have all the reference geometry that we need. Okay, we can choose the configuration we need it to be a, a bit longer than the default one. We need to choose the dot plane, the angle plane, which should be the horizontal work plane, 
in this case and we need to need we need to choose the central axis okay so finally we have the component on the place now let's choose another configuration for the other door okay now we can close this window so once we place the items we can link the parameters between the skeleton and this assembly so we are looking for the drawer quantity shelf quantity and the niche height it allows us to make a pattern so we can collect all the items that we need choose the axis for a pattern and from the list of the parameters we need to choose the quantity as well as the distance between them so it would be calculated like the niche height divided by the drawer quantity obvious okay another pattern would be the shelf with the holders okay so we need to pick the shelf and as well all the holders and we need to define how much of the shelves we will have Again, from the list of the parameters, we can define a simple formula like niche height divided by uh, quantity of shells plus one. We need to put quantity plus one in the brackets. Okay. Now we have the hardware set on the place. It's time to make some adjustments. We are going to the component visibility control and hide all the components but the hardware. So as you can see, some of the hardware items need to be adjusted. We can find a component on the browser, use the right click on the configuration table, and we can change the dowel position from left to right, or vice versa, and we can use this component as a reference for iMatch command. So now it's enough to click on the component that needs to be changed, and that's it. So basically our configuration is complete, we can turn back visibility of the components and that's it. So now our model in this stage looks like that.